Hi crafty cuties. I hope you guys are doing excellent. Today I'm excited to share a few things with you. The first will be some outgoing mail to my friend Holly and the second is going to be a little sneak peek of some new items that will be in my shop soon. If they are listed now I will go ahead and have a link to that but let's just hop right in. So first of all this is some mail that I'm going to be sending to my friend Holly. Uh, a little while ago I saw on Pinterest some paper accordion uh, files like this and I thought it was a super cute idea because you could personalize and use any paper that you liked and I thought it was so cute. And then yesterday I was watching one of my favorite channels, uh, Sabrina Ann here on YouTube who is super talented and she actually shared one that she made and I think she said she got the idea from someone on Instagram and I could not find the channel so I forgot to comment because I wanted to ask her what, uh, not channel, which Instagram account she got the idea from but either way she ended up making some, she figured out you know her own tutorial. I was hoping that she was going to share a tutorial because I wasn't sure how to make these and I could not find one but she mentioned she would have a tutorial coming soon so definitely go check out her channel if you guys haven't uh, heard of her or if you are not following her already but anyways point of the story is that reminded me that I had pinned a couple ideas from Pinterest and I've been wanting to make these so I just figured it out on my own I ripped apart a plastic one that was super similar and I just figured out what worked for me with the measurements and everything. I wrote everything down and I ended up making a few and I wanted to turn this one into kind of like a flip book and I got that idea from Sabrina. She mentioned that she was going to like turn hers into like a flip book style. So basically what I did is I just decorated it and I filled it with goodies. So not exactly a flip book but I still think it's fun and my friend Holly will be able to get some use out of this so obviously this is the front and on the back I added these cute little unicorns because I wanted to do something unicorn uh, themed for Holly and so I thought that was pretty cute I didn't want to go too crazy on the outside because I want her to be able to use this and so then it opens up like so and there are the different sections. The first section, I accidentally just realized I, I took the first section out, is going to be my letter to her with a little swimsuit clip. Whoa. And so I will stick that back in. The second is going to be some homemade goodies. Now I was going to label these. I did include some tabs for her and I thought it would be super cute to label like mail tag, goodies, um, stickers, but again I want her to be able to use this so I held back the urge. I included a little, um, what do you call this, bookmark. I included a journaling card that I made, I think she will really like that, and I included a couple of my homemade tags. And then I just stamped out a couple of these for her. She has a daughter too and she mentioned that her and her daughter love unicorns so I thought that would be fun for her. And I love how much space is in here too. So these, the next one is just some journaling cards, Project Life journaling cards that I thought she would like and could use. And then a little packet of square sequins. The next one is a little baggie of different punches. So I punched out some unicorns, some of my bows, and just some different shapes. I have a little shaker card here for her that I thought she could you like put in her planner or use on a flip book or something. And then in this little envelope is the actual little tabs. I love how these turned out. I think they are really cute. I mean, these are just gonna look adorable once they are placed on here and for these as well I just figured out like what shape would work and I just you know I just made them up myself because that's what I do <laughs> and then let's see I think we are on to the last section here and I just have a bunch of stickers in here for her 
So hopefully she's not watching this video if she hasn't received this yet. But I love it. I loved how it turned out. The bottom even has some of these little um, eyelets. So it's I, it's sturdy. It is made out of paper, so this isn't something that you know you would want to stick in a bag and travel with, probably. But I am going to be selling these for use of your planner stickers, or you could turn it into kind of a flip book like this, or you could use it for receipts. I mean, obviously you can use it for whatever you want. So I'll just give you a peek of one more that I made. This will be similar to the ones that I will be selling in my shop. I do think that I'm not going to pre-make a ton of these just because, you know, they're time consuming and I don't want to waste a bunch of paper. So I think I'll post a few examples and that way uh, the colors and stuff can be customized. So I don't know for sure yet how, but I think that's how I will be listing them. This measures seven inches by four inches. So for stickers, I'm probably going to make these a little bit bigger. It'll probably be more like a five by seven. Of course, the measurements and stuff will be posted on that listing. So the second thing that I made for Holly is just a little, I guess it's a mini album or a journal. She can use it for whatever she wants. She's on vacation right now. And I thought this would be kind of fun for her to maybe scrapbook or, put pictures in and I used my cinch for the first time. This is actually the first one that I made. And along with this, this was the first little file folder that I made. So lucky her, no, they're not perfect. I mean, it's the first time I've made both of them, but you know, and basically there is just a ton of paper in here, different like scrapbook paper and designs. So this will be easy for her to just attach a photo if she wants, or even on the backs of these pages, she can write and journal. She's crafty, so I know that she will find something to use it for. And these are laminated. So this is the second thing that I will be adding to the shop pretty soon is different, is journals. Now, specifically, I really, really want to make meal planner journals. And I, I used to be into meal planning a ton, so I kind of feel like I know what components should be in a meal planner and what components should be just left blank for the person. And I'm really, really excited for to make uh, meal planning journals. So there you have it guys. So now you got a little peek of a couple things that will be new to the shop soon and to some of my outgoing mail. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me some comments down below and let me know what videos you would like to see next. Hi Crafty Cuties, I wanted to share a little behind the scenes with you guys. I am making little shaker clips. I will show you one finished here. I am making these for a subscription box, kind of like um, the Planner Society. And these are going to be in Jameson Reed Designs subscription boxes, which I'm really excited about. I am excited that she asked me to be a part of it. But I thought I would share with you a couple little tips and tricks for making shaker paper clips. And the first one is to use a really strong glue. The glue that I like to use is this E6000 glue for the actual paper clip to paper portion. This is a really, really thick glue and it's also a really thick glue so it does help to hold the paper clip in place like pretty quickly. And then the second tip I have for you guys is to use a, a powder tool. Um, I will have a link to this one below if it would actually focus, but this is normally meant for embossing. However, it's really great for shaker clips because it will get the static or any stickiness out of your shaker so that the sequins move around freely instead of getting stuck to the edges from glue or static on the plastic. So I definitely recommend using something like this. You can use a dryer sheet as well, but I find that a dryer sheet leaves kind of a weird residue, so I prefer this. Six dollars and you can use this for embossing and for shaker cards. And then the next little tip that I have is to have an assembly line if you are making a bunch like me. It makes the process a lot quicker. I've actually spent a ton of time on these, but using a, an assembly line 
definitely helps me by doing all the same steps on each paper clip at once and then move on to the next step. And my husband actually made this little contraption here which made the process a lot quicker for me because I was using these little flower shapes that are kind of hard to uh, line up. So he made this little wooden, kind of like a page board, I guess, um, where I could easily slide on my flowers, although not so easy with the one hand, just like this. And then I could put my glue on and then stack another because when I make the shaker clips, I do about 10 layers of paper rather than foam tape because the paper glued to paper holds up a lot better than foam tape. So I guess that would be another tip is to use layers of paper rather than foam tape because it's going to be a lot sturdier and it will just hold up a lot better. So that's what I got going on, guys. Um, go check these out in her shop. These are all limited edition, so I won't be selling these exact shaper clips in my shop, but I do have some pineapple clips that are similar to these and super cute, so I'll have a link to that as well. Here are three of the flower shaker clips that I have been working on. I made 30 of these. I had fun making these while they definitely took a lot of time but I enjoyed them. I really like how they turned out. I think they're really, really fun, and I hope that whoever ends up with one of these enjoys them too. So definitely be following Jameson Reed Designs if you are interested in a planner box. This will be her first month doing a box, and I cannot wait to see the stickers that she has and all of the other goodies. So follow her on Instagram. Of course, I'll have her link below, and there you go. All right, I have to say goodbye to these friends. Me and these flowers have been best friends for the last week, but I hope they have lovely new homes and I am super cheesy, I know, but I had fun making these, so all right. Peace out, yo flowers.